My first stop was to visit with Colonel Tim O'Neill, the father of digital camouflage design. Today, virtually all personal military concealment technology is digital in nature and based on O'Neill's expertise. A lot of it is the science of vision mm -hmm. and how we see things in the world. We have to look at the way the visual system is designed and what we call the what is it and the where is it system. Some people who design camouflage have, have been asking the question, do you want to break up the shape or do you want to match the background? And the answer is yes. Okay. You want to do both. Uh -huh. O'Neill taught me that the human body has what is known as a signature made up of identifiable lines and obvious symmetry that is easily recognized by humans and particularly by their prey. By interrupting those lines and the body's symmetry with a macro pattern of light and dark blobs and streaks, immediate identification is disrupted. This is the first step in becoming nothing. But nature is made up of more than the lights and darks that make up the positive and negative shapes in the world around us. Fine texture defines our world. Therefore, overlaid on the macro pattern is a fractal geometry-based micro pattern. True to Gore's commitment to scientific validation, O'Neill has overseen hours of validation testing with human subjects. The key to this testing is that the imagery has been run through various filters that force humans to see through ungulate eyes. He told me that unless you're seeing things through the eyes whose detection you're avoiding, you're not approaching concealment the right way. The natural processes can basically give you spots or stripes that can't give you both. We can make configurations that both break up the characteristic geometry of the target form and a texture that makes it hard to see against the background. And that's what you guys do so brilliantly here at Gore is uh, you've created basically that, right? That's exactly right. 